The idea behind the showreel was of course to impress people with what we've already done. And of course get to know us a little better as persons, as a company. <sighs> the showreel was a horrible experience. <clears throat> Sorry. Doug, <laughs> fuck us up. It was a contest about giving away as many business cards as you could. I, I think I gave out the business card to almost every person I met. I did not participate. <laughs> this was our huge chance to not make a fool of ourselves. And we made a fool of ourselves. Well, word of mouth is good, especially if you can get us more income. We still need an office. But suddenly, the perfect place popped up. All the guys in the, in the company were a bit unsure because it costs a lot, you know? It was perfect. The more we thought about it, the better it was. for a place to produce films. So we're looking for a, an office and we found this place. It looks really nice with all the plants. <laughs> we had to have an office to sit together so we could work uh, more efficiently and also a place to have the equipment and don't need to sit just like really tight next to each other. It's really awesome to work at home, but it's too many things that can interrupt you, such as a uh, screaming little one, housework, uh, other things like YouTube and other stuff. Uh, but the big advantage is at uh, working at home is uh, the fridge just nearby you. At office uh, you work much more efficient and uh, it's nice to have a good fellas around you. And uh, this uh, atmosphere you have around where is just work and nothing else. It had been a year since the last time we looked for an office, but suddenly the perfect place popped up. This is the kitchen and here you can sit and eat and here's the meeting room when we have finishing up a finishing up a project we can show it to the client here with the nice audio and stuff here is another room because we have been patient with waiting and been looking uh, throughout the year to find an office we found the perfect one it was located in the centrum of oslo so Torgata is one of the best streets of Oslo at the moment. It's where everything is happening. So it was an amazing location. The other, other guys in the, in the company were a bit unsure because it costs a lot, you know? He said, I need to know today or else there is someone else who will have it. I remember I took the train home and I called Morten and said, you know what? Ah, this was a place I wanted to go to every day and make movies. I felt like this huge motivation. We could have uh, an office space, we could have a showroom, and we could have uh, maybe even make a studio out of it. Let's just split the expenses in two and we'll, we will we'll find a way to solve this. I was, yeah, let's go for it. So we got an office and it was time to move in. Here you have the nuckle. Thank you. Here you have the post. Thank you. Post, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are moving in. It's really exciting because this is going to change the way we work. Uh, yeah, we can finally be in like one place. Yeah. Make it a lot easier to create content for Patreon and YouTube and do a live stream. And this room is going to be the studio. Film studio, photo studio, YouTube studio. I mean, Anders just to share an office and it was so small. We were sitting three people inside an office that was even small for only one person. Now it was so, so much space. We could actually have clients there without the two others having to walk out of the room first. That's a huge improvement. So, this is the new office. Man, it feels good. And there's a lot of space here. 
it's actually a bit scary. When thinking about the size and the location of the office, it wasn't that expensive, but still for a new production company, it's a lot of money. This means that we had to find some other ways to make a more stable income. Uh, but with this office, it opened up a lot of possibilities because we could build a film studio, which we could rent out. We also have a lot of equipment we could rent out. We also had some office spaces that we could rent out to freelance creatives. What we did here for the floor plan is to, of course, make it a little bit open here. So when you come in, it's not too tight. And then we have kind of separate room with these things. So here's kind of the chill lounge. <laughs> and then have the freelancers sitting here. And have to look at each other. Yeah, it's like, what are you doing, Quentin? I'm just <laughs> cool. sitting here. Yeah. Now it was time to find all the stuff we needed for the office. We found these no. shelves or something no. yeah. on a secondhand website. For our camera gear, but yeah. they're a lot. A lot heavier than we thought. We thought we could carry this. It was important for us to buy second hand and try not to use the car too much. That's better for the environment and for the wallet. I think it would be really cool if we could make a logo out of wood uh, that we can hang on a wall, maybe have some nice light in the logo. Uh, so right now I'm working in Cinema 4D so that it will be a little bit easier when I'm actually gonna cut it out in wood. We decided to go to this second hand storage. Storage, <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I think we'll find uh, a chair here. Done. I'm now going to show you something I haven't showed anyone online before. Uh, it's my equipment room. And inside here, it's a bit warm because of the oven. And that's to keep all the batteries, make them last longer so they don't get cold. Now we'll move everything into the car and drive to the office. Hopefully we'll have room for everything. I, I think so. Of course, sometimes you need to use a car. A new day, new furniture. Yeah. And hopefully <sighs> this will be the last big thing. No, it's not. Right? No. We have tables and TVs. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad I had this car. Which is, we, we don't need to be nice with the car, so. You made it. Oh, nice. What's up? Whoa. <laughs> Seriously? You made that this weekend. Different colors, red and green. <laughs> Blue. It's nice to have a father to get help from. Yeah. When I was in my early career as a timeless photographer, I couldn't afford a slider. He made one for me, or uh, I, I drew it like in 3D, and like I, okay. I made all the the drawings, and then he made it. Yeah, different colors based on how it goes. Really bad times. We can. <laughs> yeah, no, we're, we're in a hurry. Moment of truth. Whoa! Oh. I've been to Australia, mate. Oh, nice, uh, <laughs> nice ship. <laughs> nice side. Whoa! Getting the office space was one of the most important parts to uh, unite the whole company and the people in in use. 
uh, because we have a place to go to and uh, an office is, is important uh, if you can afford it. When you run a production company and you have your own office, uh, the money flies away really quickly. There, there's so much things that adds up. Internet, 200 bucks a month. We have electricity, we have an alarm, we need to have insurance. Uh, and that's on top of uh, the rent at $3,000 per month. So it's a lot of money. So we wanted to split the cost between all the participants in views. Uh, but unfortunately, not everybody had uh, the ability to join us uh, in the beginning. Nikolai is moving in. Yes, I am. Even though I got other work during daytime, I really wanted to participate. I just wanted a place that I can sit in the evenings um, and just have all my stuff, basically. <laughs> you have paper. Yes, I got a lot of paper. <laughs> Of course. Lots and lots of paper. I, I feel like the, the ghost of the office. I'm just here after midnight sometimes, and then uh, I pop in the door for like 10 minutes and then I leave again. <laughs> I really need a studio space and a sound studio and a recording booth, and right now that's not possible to do in the office. Here is a tip for you. If you rent an office and uh, need to fill out the spaces, you can actually hire in other freelancers with no affiliation to your company, but just renting out the space for them. And then you can kick them out when your friends are getting there. <laughs> so we needed some more freelancers to rent with us and we needed some more jobs to pay the bills. So how do you do this? Well, finding freelancers to rent the office with us, you can use different Facebook groups for filmmakers in your country. Uh, we have one in Norway called Norske Filmskapere. And to get some new clients, you can also invite to a move-in party and invite your filmmaking friends and your earlier clients. Okay, it's time to invite to a move-in party at the Views office. I hope we have room for everyone. We said free drinks and food, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but we don't have that much money. Uh, so probably buy the small beers and then uh, you or we make food ourselves. So the moving party was going to happen in just two weeks because Christmas was coming. This was the next big thing for us because now uh, the people could actually see the office and meet us face to face. And we needed freelancers to split the cost because otherwise we could lose the office in a matter of just a few months. So we had to hurry up and finish up the studio before the moving party. Okay, here we have the backgrounds for the studio. To save money, we wanted to make the studio ourselves. And that way we can make it as cheap as possible while still being able to customize it to make it perfect for filmmaking. And that's like one dollar. If we buy a hundred of these? I don't think we knew exactly what we were doing. So you get really tired fixing all that stuff. Yeah, and we've been doing so for many, many days in a row. So this is our house. We just moved in there one month ago. Ah. Oh. You know, sometimes you just, what are we doing? 